Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today I have something informative lined up for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe online cyber defense. Before we delve into the intricate world of Andorat, let me make one thing crystal clear. The information presented here is for educational purposes only. This is not a guide for malicious activities, but rather a resource for understanding the potential and limitations of such tools. My goal is to shed light on the capabilities of this powerful tool, not to encourage or endorse any illegal activities. It's important to approach this knowledge with a mindset of responsibility and integrity. The digital world is a double-edged sword. Just like a knife can be used to prepare a meal or cause harm, technology can be wielded for both good and bad purposes. It offers incredible opportunities for learning and growth, but also presents avenues for misuse and harm. The same tools that can help secure a network can also be used to infiltrate it. It's crucial to remember that using tools like AndroRat for anything other than ethical hacking or personal research on devices you own can land you in serious legal trouble. Unauthorized access to someone else's device is not only unethical, but also illegal. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. This isn't just a catchy phrase from a superhero movie. It's a principle that should guide your actions in the digital realm. Always use your knowledge ethically and respect the privacy of others. The trust and security of the digital community depend on individuals who act with integrity. The information you're about to learn is powerful, so use it wisely. Think of it as a tool that can build or destroy, depending on how you choose to use it. Now, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's dive in. Prepare yourself for a journey into the fascinating world of AndroRat, where knowledge is your greatest asset. AndroRat, short for Android Remote Administration Tool, is a powerful piece of software that allows remote access and control of Android devices. Originally developed as a project for a university, it has since evolved into a tool that can be used for both legitimate and nefarious purposes. Imagine having eyes and ears on a target device, discreetly monitoring its every move. That's the essence of AndroRat. This software can operate silently in the background, making it nearly impossible for the average user to detect its presence. It works by creating a client-server connection. The server, which is the attacker's machine, communicates with the client, which is the Android device being monitored. This connection allows for the seamless transfer of data and commands. The server is the attacker's machine, typically running Kali Linux, a popular operating system for penetration testing and ethical hacking. Kali Linux is equipped with a variety of tools that make it easier to deploy and manage AndroRat. The client is the Android device you want to monitor. This device can be compromised through various methods, such as phishing attacks, malicious apps, or even physical access. Once the connection is established, AndroRat grants the attacker an alarming level of control over the target device. They can execute commands, retrieve files, and even manipulate the device's hardware. They can access sensitive information like contacts, messages, call logs, and even track the device's location in real time. This level of access can be incredibly invasive, allowing the attacker to gather a comprehensive profile of the victim. It's a potent tool, often used by security researchers and ethical hackers to understand how vulnerable Android devices can be exploited. By studying AndroRat, they can develop better security measures to protect against such threats. However, in the wrong hands, AndroRat can be used for malicious purposes, like stealing sensitive data, spying on individuals, or even controlling the device's camera and microphone without the user's knowledge. This can lead to severe privacy violations and potential blackmail. This is why it's crucial to understand the ethical and legal implications of using such tools, which we'll discuss later. The line between ethical hacking and malicious intent can be thin, and it's important to navigate it carefully to avoid legal repercussions and ethical dilemmas. Before you can even think about using AndroRat, you need the right environment. That's where Kali Linux comes in. It's a Debian-based Linux distribution specifically designed for penetration testing and security auditing. Think of it as a digital toolbox filled with all the tools you need to explore the depths of cybersecurity. Installing Kali Linux is relatively straightforward, whether you're dual booting it alongside your existing operating system or running it in a virtual machine. Once you have Kali up and running, you'll need to fire up the terminal, your gateway to the Linux command line. Configuring AndroRat. 
your eyes and ears. In this section, we will delve into the intricate process of setting up AndroRat, a powerful tool that allows you to remotely control and monitor Android devices. This tool essentially becomes your eyes and ears, providing you with access to a wealth of information and functionalities on the target device. With Kaylee Linux ready, it's time to get AndroRat up and running. Kaylee Linux is a robust platform designed for penetration testing and security research, making it the perfect environment for setting up AndroRat. Before we dive into the specifics, ensure that your Kali Linux system is fully updated and all necessary dependencies are installed. While the exact steps might vary slightly depending on the version you're using, the general process remains the same. It's crucial to follow a reliable tutorial or guide to avoid any potential pitfalls. These guides often provide step-by-step -step instructions, making the setup process more manageable, especially for those who are new to this kind of work you'll need to download the AndroRat source code. This code is the backbone of the application, containing all the necessary components to build and run AndroRat. Make sure to download it from a trusted source to avoid any malicious alterations, and then build the application within Kali Linux. Building the application involves compiling the source code, which transforms it into an executable program. This step is critical as it ensures that the application is correctly configured to run on your system. This involves using specific commands in the terminal to compile the code. The terminal commands are precise and must be entered correctly to avoid errors. These commands will compile the source code and generate the necessary files for AndroRat to function and create the necessary files for AndroRat to function. Once the compilation process is complete, you should see a series of files created in your working directory. These files are essential for the operation of AndroRat and include the server and client components. Once AndroRat is built, you'll have two main components, the server which runs on your Kali Linux machine and the client which needs to be installed on the target Android device. The server acts as the control center, managing all communications and commands sent to the client, and the client which needs to be installed on the target Android device. The client is the component that resides on the Android device, allowing you to monitor and control it remotely. Installing the client on the target device is a critical step in the process. This is where things get a little tricky. Installing the client on the target device without raising suspicion requires careful planning and execution. The client must be disguised to look like a legitimate application to avoid detection. The client needs to be disguised as a legitimate application to avoid raising suspicion. This involves modifying the application's appearance and behavior to mimic a harmless app. The goal is to ensure that the user does not realize that they have installed a monitoring tool on their device. This process, known as creating a backdoor, requires some technical know-how. Creating a backdoor involves embedding the AndroRat client within another application, making it appear as a regular app while it secretly performs its monitoring functions, and often involves modifying the Android application package or APK file. The APK file is the package file format used by the Android operating system for the distribution and installation of mobile apps. By modifying this file, you can embed the AndroRat client within another app. After creating the backdoored APK, you need to find a way to get the user to install it on their device. This step often involves social engineering tactics, which are methods used to manipulate people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. This often involves social engineering tactics, like tricking the user into downloading the app from a fake website. Social engineering can be highly effective, especially if the fake website closely mimics a legitimate one, like tricking the user into downloading the app from a fake website or through a malicious link. These links can be sent via email, text message, or even social media, making them appear as if they come from a trusted source or through a malicious link. Once the user clicks on the link and downloads the app, the AndroRat client is installed on their device without their knowledge. Once the app is installed and running in the background, it operates silently, without alerting the user to its presence. The client continuously communicates with the server, sending data and receiving commands. The connection between the client and your server is established, creating a secure communication channel. This connection allows you to remotely access and control the target device, granting you access to the device's data and functionalities. 
With this access, you can monitor the device's activities, retrieve data and even control certain functions, making AndroRat a powerful tool for remote monitoring and control, the ethical tightrope, and legal minefield. Now that you have a glimpse into the technical aspects of AndroRat, it's crucial to address the ethical and legal landmines that come with using such powerful tools. Remember, the information presented here is strictly for educational purposes. Using AndroRat or any similar tool to gain unauthorized access to someone else's device is illegal and can have serious consequences. Imagine someone secretly monitoring your every text message, call, and even your location without your knowledge or consent. That's a breach of privacy of the highest order. Laws like the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, or CFAA in the United States, and similar legislation in other countries are designed to protect individuals from such intrusions. Violating these laws can lead to hefty fines, imprisonment, or both. Knowledge is power, use it responsibly. We've journeyed into the depths of AndroRat, a potent tool that grants remote access and control over Android devices. We've explored its capabilities, the technical steps involved in setting it up, and most importantly, the ethical and legal tightrope that comes with using such software. Remember, knowledge is power, but it's a power that comes with responsibility. Use what you've learned here for good, to educate yourself about the potential vulnerabilities of Android devices, and to understand the importance of cybersecurity. Always respect the privacy of others, and never use your knowledge for malicious purposes. The digital world is a shared space, and it's our collective responsibility to ensure it remains a safe and secure environment for everyone. Thanks for watching and learning with me. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I value your feedback. Cyber Defense.